Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Oh, sorry, this is kind of, let me move this a little bit here. You know, I built this going on three years ago. This outdoor fire pit and been working on my man cave ever since. I've said a lot of things to you guys and I hope some of the stuff has actually set in. You know, I, I like to always end my day here reflecting on the day. Because when this day is done, that's one day less that I have to, to be here. And I want to make sure that I don't waste that time. And nothing has made that more apparent than today seeing my brother for the last time. Life is too short. If 2020 teaches us anything, it definitely should be that one. You know, this is for my brother. He wasn't really a drinker. I have to thank my brother because my brother has been giving me a puzzle. Bit by bit, it's been leaving me breadcrumbs. And I finally have put it all together. My brother Tony just didn't make sense. He was a guy who played in the orchestra. Played the big bass, boom, 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 and of course, you know the strings. Graduated from VCU, University of Northern Colorado, did his doctorate at GW, yet never really did the whole rat race. I always called him an educated fool because he would forever be reading a book. But I would always say, he ain't got common sense. I remember, you know, before he's having problems with doing something on a computer and I'd explain it to him or, you know, he called me and asked me about wiring up something and I'm like, the black one's the hot, the white's the neutral, the green is the ground. Yeah, but which goes on which? Okay, yeah, okay. The one that's, that's silver, okay, that's the neutral. The one that's, you know, brass, that's the hot on the plug. So it goes that way. The one that's green, that goes with the green wire, okay? I remember when he first came back from Colorado. See, see my brother Tony lived in Boulder County, Colorado, and then he moved to Alaska. He came back briefly and was working on a house in Maryland and then went back to Alaska and then to Hawaii with an excursion to China where he met his wife and eventually came back and was on in Northern Neck. But Tony said something to me that was, again, another one of those breadcrumbs. He said, I don't understand why everybody is in such a hurry to be in the rat race. And I said, what are you talking about? You got to have a job and make money to pay the bills, to survive. What are you talking about, Tony? But I finally have put all these breadcrumbs together. <laughs> And it's sad that I finally figured it out after he's passed. You know what the most 
valuable commodity there is. And there's, oh, gold. No, 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 platinum. No, it's not. It's none of those things. The most precious, valuable commodity there is is time. You can't buy it. You can't trade it. You can't borrow it. You can't give it away. Only you can spend that time. It's more valuable than any money that you could ever make. And that's where I realized how wealthy my brother was. My brother did things, and like the minister said, it would take the average person 120 years to do what Tony did. He's flown airplanes, he's skydived, he's been moose, elk hunting, skin diving in Hawaii, building seven houses, touching at-risk youth, helping elderly with his business, making thousands of knives that people use every single day. Being one with Mother Nature and his whole thing has always been about being one with Mother Nature. And the amazing thing about that commodity, that investment that my brother made is he not only invested in himself, he not only enjoyed each and every day, he found ways to redo or reuse. One of the last things that did with him These guys had let me know, oh man, we got a, a planer and a, a belt sander that you can use for your shop and stuff. And I was like, okay. And I went and got them. And these things are like 50 years old. It's a belt sander that literally has a belt with a motor that's underneath on a wood shelf. I'm like, this thing is so, I'm like, this thing is old. And I asked, I said, Tony, I, I, I don't want to just throw these things away. I said, really, they're antiques. I said, would you have any interest in it? He's like, I said, you know, I, he said, I might be able to get the carbide belts and I can use that for the knives, you know, where I can polish them up or, you know, grind them and stuff. I was like, you can have it. He was like, well, how much you want for it? I was like, Tony, I, I, Tony, you're saving me from having to go to the dump. Okay, I got no need for it. And he came up and he got it. You know, the thing was heavy because it was old. I mean, it's cast iron. It was rusted. You know, I turned it on. The motor's kind of, you know, it was just bad. But he took that thing apart, polished all the pieces, got a new motor for it with variable speeds and things, cleaned it up. And when he got finished with it, he said, boom, here's a picture of it. I was like, the fa? That's not the same piece. He's got a video showing me how he's taking the Ulu knives and just polish it, you know, with the wrist action and stuff on there. He took things that were broke down, deemed not useful, something to throw away, and he made it new. And that's what he did with the kids in Alaska, kids that were at risk. That's what he did when he had his home health care business in Alaska, helping elderly people that were towards the end of their life, have some dignity. He took things that were old and ready to be discarded and made them whole again. And he enjoyed every minute of it. And what he did with that commodity is he invested it in others. He gave others a different point of view and a different way for them to use their commodity.
I love my brother. I love all my brothers and my sister. And he will truly be missed. I, uh, I just don't know what else to say. But the world was definitely a better place that he was here. And he will definitely be missed by all. Tony, I love you. Thank you for listening.